Tori, hearing naval officials now, because, you know, we've always heard, I dig the music, we've always heard <laughs> eyewitness reports saying that they've seen UFOs or they've had uh, uh, close encounters with aliens and alien abductions, but having a naval officer, someone that is trained to know flight patterns, say that this is unexplainable and they believe it's alien life form, does that give you more uh, credence? Yeah, and I've, I think it was your theory, the trickle theory, or no, maybe it was yours. My brothers. And your brothers, the ufologists. The idea that we do have aliens, but that we need to tell the public in very small segmented ways so that it isn't a panic. So the Navy saying, yes, these videos are real is a start to maybe trickling into more trust It almost right. seems like there's a comma in that sentence. Yeah. But they, they, these are real, but it's like, and I'm telling you, I think we've seen this before. This precedent has been done with black presidents in movies. <laughs> Wait, what do you and mean? And I'm explain. Before the concept of a black president was like this crazy concept. You think about a movie like Deep Impact, that I think was the late 90s. They had Morgan Freeman. Right. And then you go to the fifth element with Bruce Willis. Uh, Debo from uh, Friday was the president in that movie. That's right. You start That's to right. kind of get the public used to like a black dude in the White House. What do you mean like trickle and it out? Everything's fine. <laughs> You're not wrong. That's a great point. And You're now, not wrong. Can we do that with females with now? Star Trek did the female uh, captain. You're right. Okay. Has there been a female president in yes. a movie? Yes. I know there has, like uh, which movie? Yeah, um, G G Gina Davis, didn't she play female president? Oh. Gina Davis, I believe. Well, technically Veep, she was president Gina for Davis a little while. Gina Davis and Commander-in-Chief. Oh, yeah. yeah. Commander-in-Chief, Gina Davis. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so they, I, I'm just saying, it could. It, people, once they see things a bunch of times, they're just like, oh, that's how life is. I like it. Well, if you're still not convinced about aliens, comments made by the first British astronaut in space may change your mind. Dr. Helen Sharman says there are so many billions of stars out there in the universe that there must be all sorts of different forms of life. It's possible they are here right now and we simply can't see them. Does any of you believe that aliens are walking among us? Jeff, I want to know your thoughts on that. What? No, I mean, <laughs> you would be one. I know. Yeah, you would definitely be one. I don't know if they're walking among us, but I, they're around. They're around. Yeah. I do encounter some interesting humans, though, on a yeah. daily basis. So uh, it's questionable. <laughs> It's not that what if the normal ones are the aliens? <laughs> what if the normal ones are the aliens? Because you're automatically thinking that the off color or the interesting ones are the aliens. Because I'm normal, so. What if you're an alien and you don't know it? Then it doesn't matter. If Whoa. you don't know it, then you just what think do you mean, you're Whoa. Jeff. That doesn't even make sense. No, no, if you don't know you're an alien, are you an alien? It's like if a tree falls in a yeah, forest and no one hears it, alien, doesn't make a sense. Jeff, how would you know if you're an alien or not? <laughs> I feel like I'll never be able to unhear You do have reptilian eyes. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Now, this is, that, this is not a joke. That's how I, I will, started. There is a large, I think, I, I believe huge. it's 12% of the population believe in lizard, lizard people. Lizard people, reptilian. yeah. And, yes, that lizards oh, live in the yes. yeah. I read it, it's in yeah. the Atlantic. Lizard people. You think I would be the alien on this panel for the audience? Who do you think would be? <laughs> I think it'd be David. Right He's too good at, our stage manager, David, is too organized. He's, he's David eats organized. apples yes. on sticks. It's yeah. David. It's David. David, it's David. David. He walks David. around with an apple uh -huh. on a stick. Deal blast. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>